Welcome to the weather forecast. Today is 5th November 2050. My name is Felicity Ahafianyu. Today marks the start of the Hamatan season over West Africa, and we can just start feeling the change in the season. For the forecast for now up to tomorrow, we expect the atmosphere to experience dense, dusty atmosphere all over the country. And as such, visibilities will be very poor. It's going to reduce drastically over the northern sector. It will range between 50 and 100 meters. The middle sector is going to range between 80 and 120 meters. Along the coastal strip, it's going to range between 300 and 800 meters. As we can see, the visibilities are very poor and in view of this, the civil aviation has closed down all airports to the traveling public. And also, Ghana Private Road Transport Union has also advised its members to do so with caution and a speed limit of 30 kilometers per hour has been given over Greater Accra. 10 kilometers per hour has been given over the middle sector. And for the northern sector, no road transportation is expected over that area. Visibilities are still very poor. And it's going to stay with us for a couple of days. In terms of relative humidity, it's also on the low side, about 5% over the north, 10% over the middle sector, 15 to 25% over the coastal strip. And as we can see, the atmosphere is very dry, looking for water. And this is the time that fire outbreaks will be on the rampart, especially domestic fires, factory, and then bush fires also. And then with this, uh, from records from the National Fire Service Authority, it has indicated that for the past few days, the fire outbreaks record has increased significantly. And we are cautioning the public that we should handle fire with caution. Report from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change indicates that human activities are the major contributors to climate change. Climate change, the signs are here. During the rainy season, rainfalls are heavy, and now the Hamatan is very severe. So we can see on the 6th of March 2014, this is what the President of Ghana, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, had to say about climate change. We have heard the word climate change mentioned over and over again. It has not been normal for rainstorms like this to happen at this time of the year, early in March, one would have thought that the Hamatan weather will still be in control. And so what it means, as we've often been told, is that we must implement climate change adaptability. We've heard it all from the President, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. We need to take action now to save our future. This has been the Future Forecast. With me, Felicity Ahafianyu. As you have just seen, climate change will increasingly affect our day-to-day -day weather. But we don't have to wait until 2050 to witness its impact. Already today, many parts of the world are experiencing more intense rainfall, floods, storms, heat waves, droughts. We need to minimize these negative impacts, and the best way to do that is to rapidly and significantly reduce our emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. But at the same time, because the planet is already committed to a significant amount of warming, we must also learn to adapt to changing climate conditions. We need to build greater climate resilience, designing our cities and preparing our societies to cope better with extreme weather events. We need to further reduce disaster risk, in particular through improved early warning systems, informing people and the authorities about how to take effective action to protect their families and livelihoods from all major hazards, including cyclones, storm surges, floods, droughts and temperature extremes. We also have to expand the scope of today's weather services by developing climate services that help people to understand and respond to current and future climate vulnerabilities. The scientific message is clear. The more we reduce greenhouse gas emissions, the less we shall have to do to adapt, and the less costly it will be. Let's work together to ensure a safer and more sustainable future for current and future generations. Thank you.